what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so yeah here we have the hogworks lumi pro led saddlebag filler inserts this is off the new lineup that hogworks has just released they just released a whole new lineup of these lumi pro leds they have a variety of options to choose from these are completely plug and play and they're super bright they fill that gap between the fender and the saddlebags and they operate as a run brake and turn signals now currently I do have the Nasty Hog filler panel lights. Nothing wrong with those lights. I just like the way these look. These are more my style. This is gonna be another great addition to the bike. So this is a very simple install. Nothing hard about this. I'll show you exactly what's in the box and then we'll get them put on the bike. All right, so in the box you have your two LED filler inserts, your mounting brackets with screws and washers, you have some cable ties along with cable tie mounts and then your splitter. All right, so first thing I'll do is remove the seat, my left and right saddlebags. So from here, I'll go ahead and disconnect the Nasty Hog lights. Now, before I go through all the work of getting these installed, I'm gonna go ahead and plug these in just to make sure that they work. So here you have your plug and play harness. You have your splitter right here with your male and female end. Now, usually in this area right here, you have your black plug and you have your gray plug. Your gray plug controls your fuel tank and this black plug controls the rear lighting. Now, I already have two splitters installed for the bad dad lids and also the nasty hog lights. So I'll go ahead and disconnect the nasty hog splitter. Now here I have the splitter for the bad dad saddlebag lids. So I'll go ahead and plug it into that. These only go on one way. And here you have a locking tab. You just push that down and lock it in. Now, if you do have a spare cap, I would go ahead and cap this up. That way you don't get any water in here or anything, but you could also add some dielectric grease just to keep that from any corrosion. So here you have your two leads for your left and right lights. Now these aren't marked left or right. They both have the same colors. So once I plug these in, I'll figure out which one's left and which one's right. Now that I tested the lights and everything works, I'll go ahead and get them installed. Now for the left and right light, you're going to use two brackets on each one, and then you'll have two screws with your washer. Now, obviously you want this rounded edge of your light facing up. And on the backside right here, you do have a gasket. Now for the backside, you will have a bracket on the top and a bracket on the bottom, and you'll have this rounded edge towards the bottom. Now, because you do have brass inserts, you can use Loctite to prevent your screws from backing out. I'll go ahead and run my wiring through. So you'll take the screw with the washer, put that in and get them both started. Now for this bottom bracket, this rounded edge is gonna be facing up. And to tighten these down, I'm using a three millimeter hex bit. So here I have my wiring from the light. I'll route it along here. You just wanna keep it away from any moving parts to include your shock. So I'll just take some zip ties and zip tie it along the strut. So just to recap, your gray plug is for your fuel tank and your black plug is for your rear lighting. And like I said, I already have the bad dad splitter right here. So I'll split off of that. Here I have the connectors from my bad dad lids. I'll get these out of the way. And then here I have my leads. I'll add some dielectric grease just to prevent any corrosion. So I took the screw out from my battery cover because I will run my wiring under here just to keep it nice and secured. And I'll do the same thing on this side. 